Hey, what's up everyone? This is Shuffle. This is a blind Let's Play of Hollow Knight. I'm actually really excited to play this. And I'm even more excited that we got the recording settings finally figured out. And so, yeah, blind Let's Play. And we have the achievements on. That's the only thing I really changed. Uh, this six minutes right here is all I've ever played. And it was me just running around the starting tutorial area a couple times. Uh, testing picture settings, making sure things work. And we're gonna run at 30 frames because I can do 60 like half of the time because of my low-end PC. So if you graphics enthusiast, I apologize, but this is the only way I can really get this to work without having issues because when I run at 30, I have no recording issues and I have no gameplay issues. Like because when I tried to record at 60, I would get like a stutter while I'm playing. Oh shit. In wilds beyond they speak your name with reverence and regret, for none could tame our savage souls, yet you the challenge met. Under palest watch you taught we change, base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From elegy for hollow nest by Monomon the teacher. Monomon son. And yes, I'm using a controller, we're using the 360, the wired. I was going to say, I didn't press anything. Oh my god, this looks so much better. Oh, 30 frames is the right choice. Because <laughs> the nice part, I've watched this so many times, by the way, for editing purposes. I'm assuming that's us, or like a dark, a dark us or something, because it looked like kind of our silhouette, and then that shit's waking up. And then this guy's here. Like, this, I promise you, this is blind. So if I nail any story points right here, it's only because I've seen this no less than 15 times. In the past, like, 12 hours. Because I would record a little bit. Like, I'd record the first couple minutes. I'd record this scene, and then, like, two minutes of me running around, and then I would watch it, and then I'd render it, and then I'd upload it to YouTube, and I'd watch it, like, three more times on different devices. I like the detail in his eyes, though, how they're, uh... You know. It's weird, because it's supposed to be a helmet, I guess? But then, at the same time, he just looks tired, because of that little detail, so I don't know. Looks like a bug, too. Alright, here we go. And see, the nice part about the 30 frames recording is that the game... When I play it just without recording, it runs at 60. When I try and record at 60, it struggles. And then when I record at 30, the game still plays at 60. And I have no recording issues, which is, it's fucking great. So I love looking over and seeing that I'm not, my computer isn't fucking struggling. A low end computer. That's right though, I'm, I'm working on getting a better one. And it probably won't be until the summer or something like that when I can put the cash together. Probably, I'm going to say September maybe, actually. I'll probably have the money by August, but I want to want to make sure. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul, and you shall achieve feats which others can only dream. I guess we're a higher being, because we can look at the mirror, get all the mirror things. And slap all the bugs with our... I don't know if this is a sword or like... He swings like a sword. I don't know if it was supposed to be a, a lance. Looks like a you know jousting lance or something. Kill these fucking... These buggery dudes. Pick up these... I don't know, gray cookies? I don't know what the fuck these are. Oh, see, we knew that one. From all the testing we've done. Oops. Yeah, I'm using the D-pad and... This thing's kind of worn in. So I was playing Street Fighter V with it and stuff like that. And I don't like analog sticks. I think they're actually pretty... Pretty shitty in a lot of situations. And I guess I could use it. I don't know. It just... It feels so slow. Because you have to... The difference is I have to go... All the way back over. In order to... This is about as far as I've been, by the way. I went over there a couple more steps, but I haven't looked at this yet. So I don't know what this is. Whoa, we hit it. Maybe it wasn't supposed to. Oh. What are you? Oh, extra health, okay. So is this whole game about like bugs and beasties? 
And Metroidvanias? Which I guess is a fucking Steam tag. <laughs> and after I started looking up this... Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. Oh, I think I was supposed to go in here. Here's the thing. Let me back. Yeah, the first time I hit this is when I stopped the recording. Just so I wouldn't see what's coming after this. These look like deadly spikes. You know, I don't know of any other friendly spikes in the world. I think you can kind of see them up there. Yeah. That's good, though. It, they blend in really hard. I like that we get to explore. I don't think I can make that yet. And you can kind of boost. Can you boost? I don't know if you can boost off spikes. You can. Okay. Alright, we're doing the things. It's probably the hard mode. Or maybe it's the easy mode. Maybe I was supposed to go this way. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Okay. Within our lands, do not hide your true form. Let all bask in your majesty, for only this kingdom can produce one such as you. Okay. Oh, is this, is this like a chest? Yeah, I want to inspect. Fury of the Fallen. Oh, it's a charm. Equip a charm to activate its powerful abilities. To equip charms, open the charms. Oh, resting at a bench. See, I turned on the achievements because I like to have that true Xbox feel. And look at stuff. Uh... Oh, we're back here. Oh, and it falls. That's so cool. Level design. When it's good, it's good. Oh, man. I'm just, I'm so happy to be playing this because I've been looking for a game for so long to play, and I had fun with V6, and I was going to record Deus Ex next, but I was having so many problems getting the fucking brightness on that game for some reason. I don't know what it is. Because with the... What is it? It like... I don't know... Oh, I did it again. There we go. I want the cookies. Then we'll go this way. Yeah, with Deus Ex... When I was recording it, or when I was trying to record it, I could never get the freaking brightness past, like, the minimum. For some reason, like I would go into the in-game graphics menu. Oh, this is the other side of that, okay. I'd go into the in-game graphics menu and I'd max out the brightness and shit, and it just wouldn't change at all. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom, Hollow Nest. Okay. Slap the door, my sword is so powerful! Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, let me in! <laughs> my screen went black. Oh, shit. It's pretty cool. I guess we just... Ah! No fall damage. It's already better than Dark Souls. Uh, no one likes fall damage, man. It's always, it's always not fun to have fall damage. Is there gonna be a boss in here? This is like dirt mouth, fading town. Do I get some lore before I get fucked by the game? Oh, what's up, sad dude? Is he talking? No, he's not. Okay, sorry. My, I have my sound down really low. Oh, there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quite, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well, one by one. Into the caverns below. English is hard for me. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too seek your dreams down there. Well, watch out. 
It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Lordran. <laughs> Perhaps dreams aren't such a er, aren't such great things, after all. It sucks when you fuck up the lines when you're trying to roleplay. I like how he looks up at them, he looks like cute as fuck. He <laughs> sits on a little bench to equip charms, open the charms menu. Okay, so I have three notches, I guess, is what it's saying. Is it like, I can... Because it has a cost, that looks like the notch belt. Or maybe that's the equipped, I don't know, we'll find out. Embodies the fury and heroism that comes upon those who are about to die. When close to death, the bear's strength will increase. We got some... There it is. Okay, so it's just dependent on the, the notches. Okay. A lot of charms here. And I like that they kind of offset the thing right here because it's very simple it's still the same number but it's just visually pleasing is that it? I can only do charms at benches? I'd probably heal too I lost my temp HP shit Fwack. for all your mapping supplies we will be opening soon I mean I need some maps some google maps please I don't know where I'm going oh shit did I not jump over the well? I think I just fell in it. I can climb up too, huh? Can I? He looks so cute. Forgotten crossroads. Let's just make sure no one else can get down here. Just chop that chain out. Got destructible environments, which everyone likes, so you can just run around slamming. Slamming the attack button. I see you freaking. Albino Caterpie, motherfucker. All the cookies. Uh, okay. I really like the art style so far. And the only one thing I wish would change was that they use more than three colors. <laughs> Almost. It's... It's not bad. It, you know, it makes everything feel kind of gloomy and creepy and stuff like that. And, you know, I don't need everything to be like a sharp green meadow and stuff like that, but it's just it's hard to differentiate what's on screen where everything's white, blue, black, or purple. Or grey. What's up, dude? Sounds like he's crying. This is already fucking Can I help you? Do you require assistance, sir? Are you gonna get mad? Am I gonna take something over here? And then you're like, no! Alright, our first goal is to find a ladder. We'll save homeboy over there. What is the map button anyway? Is it. No, it's not this. Oh. Really? We're gonna do some Dark Souls shit on a single player game where pausing the game doesn't pause the world? It really pays to fuck around with the controls before you start playing. So you can actually learn shit. Yeah, very... It's got that Metroid feel. Like, I know Swords is more Castlevania, but... The... Like, the simple platforming with, you know, little buggies... Hanging out on stuff, it definitely reminds me of Metroid. I always like when, I don't know, I like this kind of enemy deal too, where, you know, they're not all hostile just trying to kill you the whole fucking, like, they're just, they're just, you know, chilling, they're just walking around, they're doing their thing. It's actually worth testing to see if I can hit them through the, if I can just do this, actually, I don't even think I can reach through it. So. He's coming. I probably don't have to kill all this, it's just, you know, oh no, oh what happened, friend, looks like you slipped, <gasps> like me, but there's no fall damage, yes, try and get back, because I see doors that I want to go through, 
I don't know if I need all the cookies. But we're gonna try and get them. I like that you have four-way directional hits. That's pretty cool. And I will see if I can change up my headphone situation to see if I can listen to the music a little better. Because I'm wearing my headset right now. And to avoid feedback into my mic, I turn the music down pretty far. The Pilgrim's Way, travelers of Hollow Nest descend through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at this kingdom's heart. There, all wishes shall be granted, all truths revealed. The kingdom's heart. Hmm. Trying to get to the, the bottom of this shit. Oh! Okay. So he, like, shoots acid, too. Ah. Can Man, when I get over there, you're fucking dead, dude. Okay, I'm looking away from you. I'm trying to, like, beat him into <laughs> shooting, then I... Let me in! Alright, fine. Clearly not supposed to go this way yet. We will come back for you, dude. You know, I'll find a... I'll find a stronger sword. Or something. And then I will be in that ass. I see Spike Arenos. Oh, shit, I... Oh, my God. Reminds me of Spelunky, where you have to watch the ceiling the whole frickin' time. Which does make it challenging, especially when, like I said, a lot of the, the colors overlap. I'm trying to watch the ceiling for stuff. What's this? Oh, give me the health. Actually, that's probably spirit. Or whatever, like, yeah, the soul, that's what it is. To use my powers. Uh... Can I wall jump? Ow! <laughs> uh, maybe I can't wall jump. Oh, okay. So can I... Damn it! <laughs> it's a good idea, man! Try a little bit more. Okay. Try like one more time here. Damn it! That's the way I can do it, huh? Woo. Oh man. I don't know if that's a sequence break, but we're doing it. Okay. I like that I can explore already. It's not telling me, like, hey, go here. Hey, do this. You know, it's like, hey, there's there's a city entrance over there, and then there's, like, 14 ways to go. It's fine. Everything is fine. More spikes. Yes, I need some health back. Alright, I need to... There haven't been any enemies either for a little bit, so we're just kind of... Just platforming right now. You fall through there? Is that a way back? Is that another spirit thing? Can I jump over this? Is it gonna fill me up? It gave me a lot. So that's pretty good. Yeah, everything's just a bunch of bugs and carapaces, and I'm assuming that falls out. Looks like it does. Yeah. All this for cookies, too. Like, what? You gotta find out what the cookies do. Do you buy stuff? Are they skill points? Is this XP? That'd be interesting if XP is kind of tied to exploring more than... What is it? More than uh, just slaying stuff? That should be really cool. I would like that a lot. I have to decide how long these videos are gonna be. Also. Because I need to... What is it? I need to, uh... I don't know, I just, I feel like I want to accomplish something. You know, like, a boss battle or something in the first video, but... So far... Hasn't been that way. 
don't even remember where the freaking frack we are. Oh! Alright, ask for a boss. Oh, fuck! Ow. Oh, shit. I'm probably gonna die here. I'm just healing. Oh, God, that's so hard to get around. Oh, I'm dead. 100% dead. Hmm. <laughs> I asked for a bus and I got it. Okay. Oh, and I'm back here. Oh, I have no cookies. They're gone. Oh. Sad face. I think... Is there anything out here? Is this like the end? The stone door with a simple lock. Because what I was trying to do right there with that boss, I was trying to see if I could jump over him or whatever. You know, like hit him a couple times and then do that and bounce over to the other side when he's starting to blanket the one side I was on, but that didn't really work out. I couldn't... I don't know. I have to look at those attacks a little better because I couldn't quite see what hit me each time. I know that everything was big and orange and whatever, but... Which is nice, now that I think about it. It's nice that the enemy attacks that you run into or whatever are a very bright and noticeable color to contrast against all this darkness. So that is pretty good. There's another boss. I don't even remember how to get to that boss. <laughs> so hopefully we can get a, a map deal going soon. Is this another boss? Nope. Nah, me no bis. Hello there. How delightful to meet another traveler on those forgotten roads. These. You're a short one, but you have a strong look about you. I'm Quirrell. Okay. Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with Uncharted places. Uncharted is also my favorite video game series. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg, is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be open? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery. And who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. I also like to ask and answer my own questions. Does that make me cool? Yes. I'm not going to try and hit him. Because, you know, he might be a bro. He might not be. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe that first boss is the thing we're supposed to go fight. And I'm wondering if it's one of those things where if you have 5 HP, I wonder if you can just literally slam the... <laughs> what is it? The sword at him and kill him quickly. I don't know. But that I like this so far because we get to explore. Oh, shit. I got baited. Everything's been like two hits. But he was three. That's more than two. I wasn't ready for that. Just hop off. Because I'm not doing a good job of tracking my, my soul so far. It's cracked open on the thing, so I'm assuming that means that we have a a cookie pile somewhere. Yep, I'm not picking that up. So we... I know we kind of hugged the left side before, and that's how we found him. There we go. So I'm wondering what's on the right side this time. Yeah, I'm really happy with the recording right now, because... The game's running at like a full 60 on my end, and my recording is running at a full 30. And I've been playing for like 20 minutes now. Well, my recording's at 26 minutes, but I've been playing for 20 or so. So that, that's good. That, there's good news. I, I like when things work. And I've been talking before about getting a new computer in some of my other series and whatever. And this is just kind of compounding that. The other option I was kind of exploring too is that Sony Vegas has a has kind of a motion blur option and when I threw the 
And I threw the question up on the YouTubes. So the viewers asking what looks good. I got like two votes for I think each. It's like with the motion blur and without it. And a couple people said they don't really notice. And where the motion blur would actually be really good is if I drop frames. Like what okay, so what motion blur does in Vegas, which is my editing software, I can't get up there yet. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to like Can I save like one of the bugs and like bounce off the bug? I'm gonna try that actually. Let's go back. Hopefully we can just reload the room. I think this works. Yeah, so what ends up happening with Vegas is the motion blur deal, it it tries to smooth out your frame rate. And that can be really good for reasons I've specified. You know, if you can't hold your full frame rate, of what you're trying to record at, it basically smooths it out so you don't notice it as much. And yeah, come here, little bug. I need you, Mr. Mosquito. Damn it. Okay, he's over there now, though. Oh, it was such a good idea. Whatever, we'll, we'll screw with it later. I think that's where the analog stick would actually be really good, because I can get the full deal going on. Oh, shit. Three hits on the fellow humans, on the, uh, not humans, but the fellow bug bros. Yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to use the motion blur yet. We'll see how... I don't know, I'll try... See, that's the nice part. I get to test both. Ah, oh. Shit. Another boss. I have less space to jump. Oh shit. Just gotta be good on that timing. Here, bro. Oh fuck. That's actually something to be aware of. Like, you get a little bit of knockback when you hit stuff, which is completely fine, but that's probably gonna get me killed at some point. There's something up there. Okay, we don't have to. Like, you know, we can just go around. I'm pretty sure the cookies are souls. Like, that's how they function. So actually, that makes breaking these not too good of an idea, unless they respawn each time you come through an area. I had to take a, a minute there, my dog, you know, the dog next door was barking. So my dog had to also bark in return. And they had a healthy debate about whatever dogs debate about. And that lasted for about three minutes. And so we're done with that. And I gotta find a spot to slice the video in a minute. Because I don't want these to be too long. No, I don't want this to be like Dark Souls level. Where everything's a fucking 45 minute video. I'm kinda liking the 25 to 30. Which is pretty close to where I'm at, so let's... Let's see what's in the next, I guess, room. I would definitely love a map, though. This is really hard to keep track of everything. Because this is, again, where the color scheme kind of plays against you. Like, why is there a platform here? Damn, I'm really... I was hoping that the downward... What is it? The downward... Slice had... Like a more, like a wider hitbox. So I can get away with some shit like swinging downwards while, you know, physically touching it and having it bounce me. Have I been here? This is the same shit? Is this our Quirrell bro? It is! Well shit! Alright, I guess we'll stop here. Next time, more running around. Hopefully a boss that I don't die to. <laughs> So, yeah, this game looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, and I appreciate you checking it out. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.